Thanks to Diecast Airplane Store for giving me this special promo code. Use code ADAMIC12 for 12% off your order today. Also, when shopping at Aircraft Model Store, use the link in the description. It really helps me out. Anywho, onto the video. Hello everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the last and final model company release of this year. This is the NG Models December 2020 releases. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so at the top of the list, we have Sunwing. Uh, this is a Sunwing 737-800. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a normal generic Sunwing. I've heard that a lot of people have wanted this model from what I've heard and what I know. A lot of people want this model uh, because Sunwing do fly a lot of to a lot of de uh, leisure destinations uh, in the Caribbean and in Canada. So they do fly from like Montreal, Toronto, Hamilton, all these places down into all these Caribbean and Mexican destinations in Latin America. So this is going to be very popular with you North American collectors, as is any um, North American model. But personally, I don't need it. Um, I don't need it at all. New York doesn't get any uh, Fly Sunwing. So yeah, Sunwing 737-800 in the normal livery. The registration is Charlie, Foxtrot, Yankee, Juliet, Delta. It is scale 1 to 400, and this is 4559. Um, and... Um, we have another Sun Country, and both of these are with a uh, split scimitar, winglet scimitar. Uh, but the only difference between this one and the last Sun Country, uh, not Sun Country, not Sun Country, Sunwing. Um, the difference between the last Sunwing and the normal livery, and this one is obviously, as you can see, is the tail. Uh, this is a Sunwing 737-800 in the Jameson Whiskey livery. Um, it's basically a normal um, Sun Country 737-800, except with the um, Jameson Whiskey logo painted onto it. Um, so, I am think this is going to be as popular as the regular Sun Country, as normally regular um, liveries, you know, don't really, uh, not regular, as um, normally regular liveries sell out really fast, because, you know, you can put a regular livery in any airport, whereas a special livery, you can only put in, like, one or two um, of your model airports, so yeah, it's a Fly Sun C Country 737-800, not Sun Country, Fly Sunwing 737-800, uh, split scimitars, both of them have split scimitars, uh, except the only difference between the, this one and the last one is that this one's registration is Charlie Foxtrot Romeo Pop, uh, Papa Romeo Papa. Okay, moving down the list, we have uh, two 737s. This is a, this is a very bundled release. Um, we have my dog scratching his back. Uh, but anywho, we have an Air Mexico 737-800. Uh, one is with split scimitars. One is without. This is the one with split scimitars. Um, it's it's basically a normal uh, Air Mexico 737-800. Only difference between this one and the next one is the registration and the winglets. Um, and the registration on this one is X-Ray Alpha, Alpha Mike Victor. And um, it is 1 400 and it's 45.59. And then the other 737-800 is really the only difference is the winglets. But yeah, uh, the registration on the other one without split scimitars is X-Ray Alpha Mike India Alpha. Okay, so moving on, we are moving on to some Asian Air Cars. This is interesting. I haven't seen the model company release really Saudia models yet, uh, but here we have a Saudia 787-9. Uh, this is a normal livery Saudia 787-9. This is going to be popular with those of you who do uh, Washington Dollars. I watched Aviation 18's release video yesterday, uh, filming this on December 10th, 2020, so it's the day after these releases came out. But uh, anywho, um, so basically those of you who... Like do Hong Kong, London, um, Dulles, Boston, JFK. All the, those of you who do like all these international airports. Uh, this is a model for you. Uh, Saudi, I believe they do fly to many, many international destinations. So yeah, this is a Saudi 787-9. I want to say yes. Uh, uh, yeah, 787-9. Uh, the registration is Hotel Zulu Alpha Romeo 23. And it's just the normal generic uh, Saudia. And then the other Saudia, 77.9 of this release, uh, is the one in the uh, G20 Saudi Arabia livery. It's, it's very interesting. 
um, the design at the back of the aircraft and the front of the aircraft. I'm guessing this is the logo for the G20. It's really just a normal Saudi livery aircraft, just with um, this sort of design painted on the front uh, and back of the aircraft. But yeah, uh, this is what the aircraft looks like. The registration is Hotel Zulu Alfa Romeo uh, Foxtrot. Hotel Zulu Alfa Romeo Foxtrot is one 400, and uh, both of these. Saudi 79s are $55. Okay, okay. <sighs> this one's really tempting. It's an EasyJet AT21neo. Um, you might be like, well, you, you collect models for Newark. Yes, I collect models for Newark, but, and this is a big but, I'm gonna start building Prague in a few years. Um, I, I don't plan to make, make Newark my permanent model airport, um, which is why I'm making my um, model design uh, you know, pretty much fictional, and basically, this is an EasyJet AC Twenty One Neo. I might get this um, for the future, for the near year, for like the near future, because maybe in like a year or two, I'm gonna start building. Um, I'm gonna start building uh, Prague. So this is what it looks like. It's just basically just a normal EasyJet logo, uh, EasyJet aircraft, with except with this big Neo logo. Um, painted onto it, but yeah, that's what the aircraft looks like. This is just Golf Uniform Zulu Mike Alpha. It is one to four hundred, and it is forty-five fifty-nine. Moving on online, this is going to be popular uh, with those of you who do uh, uh, which one call this? It's going to be popular with those of you who do Asian airports, um, Middle East airports, Vistara, it's a Vistara um, A321 Neo. I've seen. I don't know if NG's um, Neo molds are new because. Basically, they've been doing a lot of new aircraft, the JetBlue AT21 Neo, Vistara, EasyJet, um, and, and they've been doing, you know, a lot of these, and I don't know if this is just, like, random, or if this mold is new, uh, please comment down below, um, about it, because I, I actually have no idea, but yeah, this is a Vistara AT21 Neo, um, it looks like it's a normal livery, uh, registration is Victor Tango, Tango Victor Alpha. And of course, it is one to four hundred, and is forty five fifty nine. Okay, moving on to the last modern aircrafts. Air, aircraft systems too. Uh, moving on to the last modern aircrafts of this release, we have two Singapore um, A three fifty nine hundreds. One is in the ten thousandth Airbus aircraft livery, and then one is just in the normal Singapore Airlines livery. So this one. Basically, a normal um, Singapore Airlines livery. Uh, registration is 9 Victor CL Mike uniform. And oh, oh, good job. Good job, NG. Um, GG. Basically, um, you see, my, my my airport, Newark, my home airport, used to get the longest flight in the world. A350900 ULR. It was, um, by Singapore Airlines. It was ex this exact registration aircraft. It's configured in business and premium economy that flew uh, this route. Uh, but they decided to move to JFK, which is which is really, 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 really disappointing to me because you know this is just a phenomenal aircraft, phenomenal looking aircraft. But yeah, uh, Singapore Airlines A350900. Uh, one's nine Victor Sierra Mike uniform, the one that I just showed you, and the one that I'm about to show you is nine Victor Sierra Mike Fox. I'm really the only difference between. Um, this one in the special 10,000th Airbus aircraft livery, and the other one is that this one just has like a tiny 10,000th Airbus aircraft thing on it, um, logo. And other than that, just a normal Singapore Airlines AT50. But yeah, moving on to the last one, 400 models of this release, we have an Air Transat L1011 1. Um, it looks interesting. I actually didn't know that, um, Air Transat actually flew the L1011. I actually didn't know this. Uh, and that's kind of dumb considering that, you know, I live in North America, but yeah. Anyway, this is an um, Airtrons at L1011. I believe it's in the uh, 1980s color, and it's in a silver belly. The registration of this aircraft is Charlie uh, Foxtrot Tango November Charlie. And the price of this aircraft is $55. And of course, it's one to 400 And, wow, ending off the final model company release of this year of 2020 is a Delta CRJ 200 ER operated by Atlantic Southeast Airlines. Uh, this is one to 200. I obviously don't need this model as it has no sentimentality to me whatsoever. Um, I've never flown 
Delta Connection. I've only flown Delta mainline aircraft. I've flown their 767s, uh, 737s, but I've never flown their CRJ 200s. But this is going to be interesting with you 1 to 200 collectors. Maybe it'll interest you um, if you click, click retro aircraft, but personally, I don't need it. But um, yeah, the registration is November 824 Alpha Sierra. That's in the ASA Airlines livery, operated by ASA, and it is one to two hundred dollars, and it is sixty-eight dollars. I just said one to two hundred dollars, and I one to two hundred scale. I'm sorry. And that being said, that does conclude the NG models December 2020 releases. I'm not getting anything from these releases. The EasyJet 8020 Neo, I might ask for for Christmas, but. I'm probably not going to get it because I don't need it. This is a pretty, not. I'm going to be honest, this is kind of a pretty lame release personally for me. I know this is going to be a very controversial thing that I'm saying, but I don't need any models from these releases compared to um, November 2020 releases where you have like 50 models, here you only have like one or two. So this isn't really, you know, a major release for me, but yeah. That being said, that does conclude the final NG Models 2020 release. Wow, we've come a long way since uh, January. We've come a real long way um, since the start of all this stuff. And, you know, it it's mind-blowing to think that we're already at the end of um, 2020. But, yeah. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos. And comment down below, uh, what are you getting from this release? And, um, please comment down below what you think, you know, NG Models thought processes whenever, you know, they do one of these worse releases. I know that's a controversial opinion, but still. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, goodbye.